Hi guys, um, today we are going to play around with the basics of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We're going to do the following problem. Um, we're given this invertible matrix A, and we'll find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors not of A, but of A squared and, and A inverse minus the identity. Um, so this problem might seem daunting at first, squaring a 3 by 3 matrix or taking an inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix is a fairly um, computationally <laughs> intensive task. But if you've seen Professor Strang's lecture on eigenvalues and eigenvectors, you shouldn't be all too worried. So I'll, I'll give you a few moments to um, think of your own line of attack, and then you'll see mine. Hi again. OK, so the observation that makes our life really easy is the following one. So say uh, v is an eigenvector with associated eigenvalue lambda to A, the matrix A. Um, then if we hit v with A squared, well, this we can write it as A times a v, but a v is lambda v, right? So we have a lambda v. Uh, lambda is a scalar, so we can uh, move it in front and get lambda a v. And lambda a v is, when we plug in a v lambda v, is just lambda squared v. So what we've found out is that. Um, if V is an eigenvector for A, then it's also an eigenvector for A squared, just that the eigenvalue is the eigenvalue squared. Similarly, uh, if we hit A inverse, if we hit v, v with A inverse, so in this case, we can write V as AV over lambda, given that of course, lambda is non-zero, but um, the eigenvalues of an invertible matrix are always non-zero, which is an exercise you should uh, you should do yourselves. Um, so, if we just then take out the a and combine it with a inverse, this is the identity, and so we get. 1 over lambda v. So v is also an eigenvector for A inverse with eigenvalue, the reci re reciprocal of lambda. OK. And from here, of course, A inverse minus the identity is lambda inverse minus 1 well, v. So the eigenvalue asso yeah, associated with uh, so the eigenvalue of A inverse minus the identity is 1 over lambda minus, minus 1. OK, so what we've figured out is we just need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A. And then um, we have a way of finding what the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of um, those combinations, well, A, squ A squared and A inverse minus the identity will be. OK. Um, so how do we find the eigenvalues? Well, what does it mean for lambda to be an eigenvalue of A? It means that the matrix A minus lambda, the identity, is singular, which is precisely the case when its determinant is 0. OK? So. We have, we need to solve the following equation, um, lambda minus 1, 2, 3, oh sorry, 1 minus lambda, 2, 3, 0, 1 minus lambda, 2, negative 2, and 0, 1, 
or minus lambda. OK. Um, so uh, it's fairly obvious which column we should use to expand this, this um, determinant. We should use the, the first column because we have only one non-zero entry. And so this is equal to 1 minus lambda times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, 1 minus lambda, 2, 1, 4 minus lambda, which is, I'm going to take the computation up here. One minus lambda, um, lambda squared minus five lambda plus six, which is a fairly familiar quadratic, and we can write it as a product of linear factors: it's lambda minus two, lambda minus three. So the three eigenvalues of A are 1, 2, and 3. OK, so first half of our problem is done. Now, we just need to find what the eigenvectors associated with each of these eigenvalues are. Uh, how we do that? Well, um, say, let's figure out what the eigenvector associated with lambda equals 1 is. Um, so we know that the eigenvector needs to be in the null space of a minus lambda, the identity. So a minus the identity, um, v. So let me write this out. It's uh, 0, 0, um, 3, 2. 3, 0, negative 2, uh, 0, uh, 1. And we see that the first column is 0. So, um, well, the first, uh, therefore, yeah, the, the, the first variable is, will be our free variable if we want to solve this linear system of equations. And we can just set it to 1. And it's not hard to see that the other two um, entries should be 0. So we can do yeah, the same procedure with the other two eigenvalues. And yeah, we'll, we'll get yeah, an eigenvalue each for, um, oh, sorry, an eigenvector for each eigenvalue. And in the end, let me go back. Here, so I'm gonna um, put our results in a little table. So a squared inverse of the identity. So the first row will be eigenvalues. So going to be, if la lambda is an eigenvalue for a, then we saw that lambda squared will be the eigenvalue for a squared, and lambda in inverse minus 1 will be the eigenvalue for a inverse minus the identity. And the eigenvectors will be the same. OK, we're done.